hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to resolve google chrome error message that you are experiencing on your windows 10 or windows 11 computer that there are not enough memory to open this page try closing other tabs or programs to free up memory followed by error code out of memory let's fix it guys first thing i recommend doing would be you have a bunch of tab open i recommend closing out of them or just restoring the whole web browser all together as well as closing any open application you may have on your system as well so i recommend just closing out of as many program as possible and then relaunch the web browser and hopefully the issue has been resolved guys if you still having an issue you may also want to check into extension that may be enabled on your web browser guys just need to click on this three dot icon and select extensions and select manage extensions and if you have a lot of extension that you are normally use in here i recommend toggle them to off position you don't necessarily have to remove them but you just want to turn them off and see that has allowed you to free up enough memory to them use the web browser properly and something else we can try as well would be disabling different startup programs to start up when our computer boots up so if you don't need certain application to run every time your computer turn on i show you guys how to disable it just right click on the taskbar and select task manager and you just need to click on this three slash icon to open this and click on startup apps and in here you can able to see the all startup apps listed over here if you disable certain application from starting up every time your computer turns on so you want to disable any unnecessary application from starting in startup you disable it guys just to do a right click and select disable guys i already disable lots of unnecessary application for example discord and steam and epic games blue stacks there are lots of memory usage in startup guys so just click on it and disable it guys option is available in here disable or enable and now after doing this you just need to close it off here and go ahead and restart your pc guys for the changes take effect after restarting your pc hopefully your problem resolved that's it for today's video guys give me a like and subscribe thank you